Today on Sci Guys, fermenting yeast and sugar. Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Teresa. And today we're looking at fermentation with sugar and yeast. We'll be producing gas, and it won't be me this time. This is a viewer requested episode. Thank you to this viewer for recommending this episode. Fermentation is a chemical breakdown of substances by bacteria, yeast, or other microorganisms, usually involving the production of gases and heat. The equipment and ingredients you're going to need for this episode includes multiple bottles, they can be glass or plastic, sugar, yeast, balloons, a funnel, measuring utensils, and warm water. We're not working with anything hazardous in this episode, but we still recommend gloves, goggles, and an apron or lab coat to protect from spills and splashes. The first step in our experiment is to add all your ingredients into the bottles. Using a funnel, add one package or two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. Now we're going to add the sugar. In the first bottle we're not going to add any sugar. In the second bottle we're going to add one teaspoon. In the third bottle, two teaspoons. In the fourth bottle, three teaspoons. With all your dry ingredients in the bottles, add one cup of warm water into each bottle. With all the ingredients in your bottle, cover your bottle with your thumb or put the lid back on and give it a gentle mix. With all the ingredients in the bottle, put one balloon on each bottle spout and leave them somewhere warm to sit for an hour. Over the next hour or two, the balloons will gradually grow in size. After a few hours, you'll notice the balloon that was covering the bottle that had the most sugar in it grew to a larger size. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. Yeast is a fungus, and there are about 160 known species of yeast. Yeast is very small. One gram holds around 25 million cells and has been used for thousands of years to help bread rise. But how does a fungus help bread rise? It has to do with what yeast eats, how they metabolize that food, and what waste products are released. Yeast feeds on sugars and starches. When the yeast consumes the sugar in our bottle, it breaks it down to be used as energy. But like all living beings, waste products are produced when metabolizing food. When the yeast metabolizes the sugar, the waste produced is carbon dioxide gas and ethanol. The carbon dioxide gas floats out of the liquid into the bottle, producing bubbles, and eventually floating up into the balloon. As the yeast consumes more sugar and produces more carbon dioxide, the pressure inside the bottle and balloon increases. This pressure presses on the walls of the balloon, causing it to expand and grow. The equation for this reaction looks like this. The reactant sugar, sucrose, is on the left, and the products, ethanol and carbon dioxide, are on the right. The bottles with greater amounts of sugar have more food for the yeast to consume, which results in larger amounts of carbon dioxide produced and a larger balloon on the top of the bottle. That's it for fermentation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, consider supporting our next video by becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is down below. And subscribe for future episodes. And if you have any suggestions for future experiments, let us know in the comments below. Also, remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode, or about science in general, let us know in the comments below, or message us on Facebook, and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye! Man, even though I didn't produce those gases, they were pretty stinky. Yeah, they were almost as bad as yours. Almost. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos.